During a competition, you can also use the LEGO Mindstorm's EV3 ultrasonic or infrared sensor to position yourself on the field. You can use this sensor to detect the distance to different objects. For example, you can use the sensor to detect the distance to the border. Right here, here is the border of the field. And you can place the robot at exactly, let's say, four or five inches of the border, about 10 centimeters. And then you can turn for 90 degrees and you know where you are compared to this competition model. And then you can take the loop for, for this competition model. Or you can use the sensor, that's not very common, but you can use the sensor to try to detect the object itself. So you can turn, 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 until you see the object. So you see something that's about 10, 15 centimeters or 5, 6 inches from your robot. And then you know uh, how to approach the loop and how to take it. You can also use the ultrasonic sensor to follow the border and to move near the border and to follow this border. And this is the program that we will build today. Again, I would like to implement a program that follows the border of a field. First, I have to make sure that uh, the sensor is pointing to the border and I'll have to deassemble this uh, try to add this part here and then attach the sensor and I'll move this whole construction at the other side of the road like this so now the sensor is facing the, the border and I can implement the program that will follow the border and will keep a distance of about let's say 10 centimeters or about 4 inches and to move the robot in this direction following the border. Let's attach the sensor to port 4 the default sensor the default port for ultrasonic sensor is port 4 and Let's check out the program. First, I'll start with a very simple program for following the border with the ultrasonic sensor from the Mindstorm series. And uh, the program is the following. I will start motor. In my case, it will be the right motor. So motor A, you will see it on the camera in a few seconds I'll start motor A and I'll just move it forward I'll move motor A forward until until and now you can remember all the things that we discussed for the ultrasonic sensors in previous video in the EV3 basic course we turn motor A until the ultrasonic sensor detects a distance of let's say 4 inches and we need a distance of 4 inches or less than 4 inches let's mark it as less than or equal to 4 inches and then stop with motor A I'll just stop with motor A download and run this here is the robot and I'll place the robot like this we have some distance here between the border and the ultrasonic sensor when running the program the robot moves and it moves until the sensor detects a distance of about four inches again i can place the robot on another place it will be something like this the next step is to move the robot with the, so this is motor a the right motor and we here have motor d the left motor to move with the left motor until we detect a distance greater than four four inches and something greater than about 10 centimeters and then stop and then move again and then move again until we detect a distance 
less than 4 inches, more than 4 inches, less than 4 inches, more than 4 inches, or about 10 centimeters. Less 4. And this will make the robot follow the border. It's a very simple, it's called uh, zigzag following because it is following uh, in a zigzag movement. After we stop with motor A, we would start motor D right here and it's just on forward motor D and with the program like this. So start motor A until we see something equal to or less than 10 centimeters then start motor D that will move the robot away from the border until until sorry it's, uh, mm, I have to move them like this until the ultrasonic sensor detects distance in inches that is greater than greater than 4 inches and then stop with motor D. Just turn it off. Download and trim. Running. You saw this zigzag movement again. Let's start the program again. Now, if we repeat this movement in a loop, we would actually follow the border on the field. Again, I'll start the program again. And let's put them in the loop. I will take a loop, block and just add all the blocks inside the loop. I'll have to zoom out so that you can see it. But it's just all the blocks Edit inside the loop. We have to delete this connection here. This would be the program for following the border. It's very similar to the program for following lines. Very simple program for following lines with a color sensor, but this time it's an ultrasonic sensor. It's not a very advanced program, it's not even very smart, but it's very simple and it's working. It's a zigzag program. Download, place the robot like this and run the program. You can see that the robot is actually following the border. Now it not, might not be very useful most of the times uh, because we have this zigzag movement. So in the next videos we'll look for ways to improve this program so that we remove these zigzag movements.